Why is she there? What's her role? NATO Commander General humiliated Harry as Meghan squeezing to get in the camera's centre. Prince Harry and Meghan Markle met NATO Joint Force Commander General Luigi Miglieta on the sidelines of Harry's Invictus Games, amid claims by athletes at the event that they felt caught up in the royal crossfire between him and his family. The couple held hands and smiled beside NATO chiefs and their families, including a large Italian and Dutch armed forces contingent during the royal-style engagement in Dusseldorf. Branding culture expert Nick Eid said the Sussexes' decision to pose with NATO chiefs could be a power play in the personal PR battle. The Sussexes arrived hand in hand, Meghan in a bronze silk shirt and caramel trousers, while her husband wore a smart navy suit and crisp white shirt. They smiled and waved with NATO bosses and their families. Then Meghan asked for a private meeting with NATO chiefs and their families, however a source reveals that it was refused because they didn't know Meghan. According to NATO, the only meeting in September was in Oslo, from September the 15th to the 17th, for defence ministers. The German Minister of Defence was at the Invictus Games. They met Harry by accident. It's not a meeting with the State Department, even in Dusseldorf. When it comes to the Invictus community, they're cheering for Harry, but the German attitude towards Meghan is not as good. This woman has no agenda, she's all over the place. She does these things for photo opportunities. An insider revealed that a backstage clip recorded the NATO Commander General asked Harry who she is and why she's there. What's her role? This seems to be a reference to Meghan because she doesn't even have a role on Invictus, while she squeezes into the centre of every photo. She was only there as the wife of the person hosting it. It's gag-inducing, but the more she shows up, the more we see. Though for me, the worst was marching in shorts with vets. When you disrespect the military and it's allowed, it cheapens the military uniform and everything that it represents. Earlier, there was a rumour that after the closing ceremony on Saturday, September the 16th, Harry's wife continued to ask a NATO leader for a helicopter to take her back to the United States. Of course, she didn't get what she wanted. Recently, there was a photo showing Meghan standing in the centre of Harry with Invictus athletes. All I see here is a woman that photobombed a shot of her husband and a team who appreciates him. It's the height of a narcissism, honestly, using a husband and soldier athletes as a literal backdrop for a fashion photo pose. What's she even doing in this photo? Reminds me of that polo trophy cringe moment. Of course, she should be front and centre. Harry, her loyal handbag, in his rightful place behind her. Her pose is what makes it even worse. Like, she's so not part of this photo, you could crop her out of this and put her in front of famous buildings and they'd look random. She's having no human interaction with this team, it's just a backdrop to her, and it's so abnormal. Doesn't Meghan feel embarrassed? She's so unimportant and literally a nobody. It's so out of place, and she obviously shoved away to the centre. This is just like her royal days, awkwardly elbowing away to front and centre of large group photos of important dignitaries, etc. And then there's a random D-list wannabe Instagram influencer, beaming from ear to ear smack dab in front, like she's the centerpiece. 